Last night, the index cards that Herb was using for his acceptance speech. Well, we have to put a stop to this. I agree with you, Vicky, but I how? I mean it. We may not be able to fight terrorism on a global scale, but we can certainly start small here at home, and Paul Kendall has obviously become a terrorist. Vicky, I've never quite seen you like this. Dorian, we can't let him get away with this. We have to find him and stop him. I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to write an open letter and put it on the front page of the banner. We will ask for um, help or any kind of information that they, if anybody can give us to find him. Well, that just might work. Well, good. Then let's do it, all right? Certainly a lot better than sitting around here waiting for the axe to fall. Vicki, it's not just your offer of the open letter, is it? Or any other specific action that you might take on my, my behalf. Truly, it is... What can I say? It's your enthusiasm that really matters so much to me. But this is a matter of justice. Oh, Vicki, it's much more than that. Let's face it. I mean, we've had some pretty rough moments together. And yet, right now, when I really badly need a friend, here you are, offering to help so enthusiastically. I kind of figure that you'd be there for me if I needed you. Right? Anyway, you're not alone. We can't fight this thing together. <laughs> How am I so lucky to have such good friends? Oh, good, then I'm not the only one. Isn't that surprising? Herb is helping me, and then I have this really special private detective that I've hired. So, I guess with all that help, well, Kendall doesn't stand a chance. It's Mitch Lawrence. Indeed it is, Pilgrim. Have we met before on the uh, highway of life? No, but I've seen your kisser on post offices everywhere. Not to mention Dorian Lord's interview with you uh, back in the slammer. Now look, Dorian, with so many experts helping the police try and find Paul Kendall... I know, it's foolish of me to let fear get the best. My offer still stands. I can have that letter on the front page of the paper by tomorrow morning. Vicki, I think it best that I not go public with it. Not just now, anyway. In fact, I would really rather not discuss Paul Kendall at all, if you don't mind. For goodness sakes, we've got much more pleasant things to discuss, don't we? Such as? Such as? Oh, you have such a question. The little baby Buchanan oh. who's on the way. I'm sure that Clint is just beside himself. That's a pretty apt description, yes. Yes. I mean, he walks around most of the time in total panic. Oh, <laughs> that's only natural with a first-time father. That's true. I've been having a terrific time. He's had morning sickness more often than I have. Good. I, I think men should go through everything that we have to. Mm -hmm. I can hardly fault him in that area. He tries to share everything with me as much as he can. He bugs me constantly about taking calcium pills, which I do anyway. And he insists on reading aloud to me at night so that the baby will have the proper prenatal influence, please. Oh. Do <laughs> you know I envy you? Oh, Dorian, come on. I do. You have a successful career, but you have a, a happy home and family. So many of the simple pleasures which I have not managed to achieve. I hope you know how lucky you are. Yes, I do. But I don't want you to dare start thinking that anything you want is impossible. Oh, I'd like to think so. Oh, I wish... come on. It's just these threats. No wonder you feel insecure. Yes. And I don't like the feeling. Well, do something about it. Do something. You're right. I will. I'm going to get in touch with that private detective and see what he can do for me. I mean, for my case. Good. I'll leave you to it. Wonderful. Thank you very much, Vicky, for offering to help, really. Just remember that Clint and I are only a phone call away, all right? I will. Give Clint my best. I will. Bye. <laughs> Jonathan Russell, please. Oh, got a new step. I, I, this is Orion Lord. I have to reach him immediately. Oh, he did. I, oh, the water side in. Fine. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. You'd want to get rid of me? Well, that's where I'm nothing like your typical law student. You see, I would have chosen to settle with you. Out of court. My, what a reassuring sight. Dorian, 
Uh, we were just, uh, that is, Maggie and I were Well, just... you were pooling resources so that you could both aid me. Hmm? Uh, well, as a matter of fact, that's exactly what we were doing. Well, I must say I'm very grateful that the two of you are willing to work together to save me from the clutches of this maniac. Oh, believe me, Dorian, it's our pleasure. Jonathan, uh, Vicki Buchanan, I think you should know, has a very interesting idea. She proposes to write an open letter in the banner going into the details of this whole terrifying chain of events, uh, going public with it. I don't think that's such a good idea, Dorian. Yeah, I agree with John. I mean, we're making quite a bit of progress on our own. How did I know you'd say that? Jonathan, I told Vicki that I didn't think it was a good idea to go public at this time. Well, that's good, Dorian. I think that's a wise move. And listen, since you're paying me to track down Kendall, I better get started on this list. What list? Well, it's Maggie's doing, actually. It's uh, a little com compilation of all of the Kendalls on the continent. And the sooner I track them down, well, the sooner we're going to find our man. So if you ladies will excuse me. I'll wait, John. I'll go with you. No. Maggie, really, I've wanted to talk to you for ever so long. All right, Dorian. Uh, John, I'll see you later. John, I'll see you later. Maggie, you know, ever since Herb assigned you to my case, I have been terribly concerned that you may be spreading yourself too thin. Well, you don't see me complaining, do you? No, but that's because you're too much of a pro. However, I would not want you to sacrifice your position as Herb's assistant DA in order to be at my beck and call. Oh, I appreciate your concern, but I can handle it. Herb and Jonathan can handle my case without you. Dorian, you deserve all the protection you can get. Yes. I don't think I'm the only one who needs protection. I did see the way you were looking at Jonathan. I know what you're talking about. Oh, come on, dear. Why don't we just take off the kid gloves? You don't care what happens to me. The only thing that interests you about my case is Jonathan Russell. What if it is? <laughs> my life is in danger, Miss Delakian. I understand, Dorian, but there is no rule that says John and I can't have fun while we're saving your neck. Well, goodbye, Dorian. The United Daughters of Liberty actually served soup to General Washington and his troops at Valley Forge. Fascinating stuff. That's wonderful. Now, look, if you just let me finish touching you up, we'll be fine. fine. Huh? Dorian, okay. Dorian, I've got 13 United Daughters of Liberty. I was told we were going to have 12. I don't know what... What are you wearing? A dress. Will you excuse me? Do you want to finish up my makeup? You were going to wear the Betsy Ross costume. Forgive me, but it was a really corny idea. I've decided it is not necessary for us to put on some sort of masquerade. It was your idea, I mean, the theme of this week's show, you know, uh, liberty, freedom. Exactly, so I have the freedom to choose my clothes. Excuse me, but what's the big deal? Exactly. Oh, uh, well, it's uh, no big deal. We just have to readjust all the lights and get the 13 United Daughters back in their street clothes all before we go on the air. That's and all. There is no need for you to start another revolution over this. Oh, well, let me tell you something, Dorian, about these changes Dorian, that are going to get us I'm sorry, we have something to a crisis here. It's about Paul Kendall. I found him. 